Laura. Hi. I have an enormous favor to ask of you. Yeah. I realize I've been walking around with these letters in my pocket for the last three weeks. And um, could you walk around with them for a while? Oh, well. I have an appointment in three minutes, and I was wondering if you could drop these in the mail for me. Oh. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Katz. And this one doesn't have a stamp on it. Oh, Dr. Katz. <clears throat> I'll do it, though. Yeah, I owe you big time. Hey, Dr. Katz? Yep. Um, I'm doing this Walk for Hunger on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And um, I was wondering if maybe you would sponsor me. Cannot do that. No, I'd be, I'd be glad to, uh, to help you in any way I can. Great. So whatever it is, I'm in. All right. That's a good cause. It's, uh, what is it again? Walk for what? The Walk for Hunger. That is a great... In fact, while you're out... My cat's never been out of my apartment. So the first time I took him, I took him to the vet, mm -hmm. which was sort of exciting for him. Yeah. But when you get to the vet, as a matter of course, they take the cat's temperature anally. Mm -hmm. That was a surprise to me. Well. But it was a huge surprise to the cat. You just sort of see from across the room, the cat go, huh? And that's what they did the first time he's ever left my apartment. The only time he's ever left my apartment. That's what he thinks the outside world is, mm -hmm. which makes me very uncomfortable because he sees me leave the apartment every day. Whenever I come home, he's always got that look on his face like, you like that? My girlfriend, uh, fiance, she had, we adopted a dog. Right. And uh, the dog is depressed. We had to put the dog on Prozac. Well, that's, that's unusual, but not unheard of. She's just got problems. Mm -hmm. And veterinarians don't talk to you like doctors. They don't say what's wrong. For instance, the dog had a knee problem. Right. When you go in with a the dog, they say, uh, oh, boy, I think your dog might have a $400. But you should really take care of it because it could turn into a $2,000. Right. Veterinarians have all this technology that they can't use. Mm -hmm. Animals come in and they're like, we've just designed this new technique where we can take a pig's liver and cut it into three and put it into a schnauzer. But then you bring a schnauzer and it needs a new liver and they're like, $12,000? What are you, out of your mind? It's a schnauzer. Um... Dad. Oh, Dad, right. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe I'll start calling you by your first name now. Can I do that? It always bothered me when kids call their parents by their first name. I think it's a sign of it's a sign of a decaying relationship. You think so? Yeah. What if I give you a nickname, like JK? I could live with that. And how about I call you, I can live with that. <laughs> hey, guess what? Um, Let me give you a hint. Laura's doing the Walk for Hunger this Saturday. What is a Walk for Hunger? I don't know. Really? <laughs> but I'm sponsoring her. You know, I'll tell you something. I, I hate these bleeding hearts who go out and think they're doing something great for the world. Why are you so cynical all of a sudden? No, I mean, these, they're just social events. Just a bunch of sort of sad people who got nothing better to do than to help others. Well, when you put it that way, yeah, sure. So how much did you give Laura again? I think I, what I agreed to was 20 bucks a mile, and it's a 20-mile walk, but she'll, uh... Wait a second. Wait, 20 oh times. My oh, my God. You didn't you do the try. math. <laughs> no. Well, I didn't. Uh, I had no idea Laura was into charity stuff. I mean, if Laura's out doing it, there's, there's no reason why I couldn't do it. I think it would be a, a wonderful, wonderful gesture, Ben. And just the fact that you're interested in doing it makes me very happy. Well, I'm not interested in doing it yet. I'm not really happy yet, <laughs> Dad. You know, you can't just get out there and walk 20 miles. You need to, you need to condition yourself. 20 miles, Dad, that's nothing. I mean, how far can it be? Dr. Katz's office. Laura. Ben. Yep. Yes, ma'am. How are we doing? Fine. I was wondering, actually, if you wanted to uh, get together. Sa oh, Saturday I can't. I'm doing a walk for hunger thing, so I can't. But Sunday... You're doing I'll the walk for hunger? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do it every year. Oh. I, mean, I didn't do it last year. I don't think it existed last year. It did. I was there. Oh, really? Why the sudden interest? Listen, Ben has led a long and profitable <sighs> life. And uh, there's a certain point where you wake up and you say, uh, I'm going to walk for hunger. Your dad told you I was going. Oh, wait, you're... D Laura, you're doing it too? Yeah. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. That's weird. Yeah, yeah that's really weird. Do you have sponsors yet? Because I... Um, yes. I have a whole bunch of sponsors. You do? I have a list of people I'm going to contact. How many do you already have? I'm going for mostly major corporate sponsors. I'm sort of in a different bracket. You have no one, do you? Well, not yet, but I can probably say safely that I will make, for the hungry people, over $3 million. 
Now, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with this whole coming in here talking to you. Mm-hmm. You know, because I don't know if you know this, Doc, but therapy and black people really don't go hand in hand. Well, we go to church. Right. It is cheaper. You don't throw a dollar in the plate. You say, ah, blah, 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 blah. Then you're out of there. But I, I hope you feel like there are things you can say to me that you can't say in church. I'm, I'm really getting ticked off with this whole politically correct thing. Mm-hmm. Now, I always say black. I refer to myself as black. I'm a black woman. Right. Because it's not like African-American is making my life any easier. Mm-hmm. That's a bunch of crap. You know, OK, we're going to change the name of a group of people and everything's cool now. That's ridiculous. You don't see black people standing around going, woo, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. African-American. Man, this is sweet. So, Doc, I've been following this John Bonet Ramsey case. Now, I'm learning a lot about this because usually when a child is murdered, the first thing that the cops do is they investigate the parents. But in this situation, the cops wanted to talk to the Ramseys, but they said, no, thank you. Right. Now, I didn't know this was optional, but usually the way it works when they want to talk to you, you try to pull some stuff like, man, I ain't telling you. Oh, oh, sh- oh, hey, oh, 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 okay, okay, all right, okay. But in this case, the Ramsey said, we're busy. And the cops said, OK, we'll talk to you later. Mm-hmm. I guess they have to send them a, a, an invitation or something. And Ramsey's have to RSVP or something. Dear detectives, unfortunately, I will not be attending your interrogation. Regretfully yours, the killers. Ooh, wait a minute. That's the alleged killers. Guess what I'm doing this weekend, man? What's that? <laughs> you don't have to get excited just because I am. I'm sorry. What's that? I'm uh, I'm doing uh, the Walk for Hunger. Really? Mm-hmm. Actually, I was thinking that I, I I could get you to sponsor me. You want me to sponsor you? Well, I mean, um, I need to get some sponsors, and I figure Vix Video could be one of them. And oh, you, you want could... the whole store to sponsor you? I could walk with a Vix Video signboard. What would that cost, Vix? That would cost you ten bucks a mile. Ten bucks a mile? Or I could wear a Vic's video T-shirt for five bucks a mile. Because no, I know Vic is anti-charity, so he's, there's no way. But isn't it beneficial for a company to give a certain amount of charity because it's a tax write-off? I'll call Vic. Hold on, I'm gonna call. No, you know what? Don't call Vic. Why don't you just open the till and give me some cash? The till? Yeah. What do you think is like a country store or something? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How much money do you skim? A week. I don't skim. Of Vic. I don't skim. I'm just saying, you must. I mean, you work with cash. Yeah, I work. Vic is never here. I doubt he even checks the books. So in the interest of doing something really moral, you want me to do something immoral? I would say, That's let's skip vic- the money for the walk for hunger and just take some money. <laughs> well, now we're not even talking about the walk anymore? Yeah, screw the walk. I've done that. Have you done that? Oh, I've done it. I had the worst blisters, and I was so crabby by the time I was done. I I felt terrible once. I had to ask the police to stop a walk for hunger so I could cross the street. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it's usually one guy that walks against the crowd. Uh, They call him the the salmon, I think. The salmon. And by the way, you know, if you guys would like to, I'm sure Ben would be delighted if you would like to sponsor him. Oh, yeah. Sure. Are you kidding? Anything did not have to do it. Well, it's 20 miles, so if you say you'll you'll sponsor him a dollar a mile. Fine. Dollar a mile. Stanley? Stanley? All right. Uh, a buck a mile. Okay, so that's 40 bucks right there. Yeah. Good. Okay. I'd like to buy both of you a drink. For thirst. Let's for drink thirst. for thirst. Drinking for thirst. But it is it is amazing that in this country, the most powerful and the richest country in the world, that kids go hungry every day. <sighs> if only they would take the time to have a snack. Nice. You know? <laughs> Laura, check it out. Are you going to the gym? No, this is my uh, walk outfit. You bought an outfit? Yeah. I mean, I borrowed. I'm going to return it after I, I leave the tags on. The sweatsuit alone was over $300. I don't think you're supposed to buy a $300 outfit to wear to the walk for hunger. Look, if you're a walker, you buy this. <sighs> look at the design, though. Isn't it nice? It's, it's, it's kind of sexy. I sort of look like a pimp if I unzip. Watch. Oof. Check this out. Hmm? Those aren't those tearaway. You're damn right they are, baby. Please don't. Ah! 
Oh, Ben. So um, have you found somebody to, to walk with yet? Well, yeah, I'm walking with my two friends. What are their names? Colleen and Joanne. Well, that's funny because I'm walking uh, with Scott and Larry. Oh, really? Well, great. Have fun with Scott and Larry. Yeah, they're good guys. They sound like great guys. Well, maybe the three of us and the three of you could uh, get together. Uh, and... no. What time are you going to get there? Early, really early. Well, where will you guys be? Well, I, that... Just walk with me, Laura. <sighs> All right. If you can find us, you can walk with us. Why don't we meet at the registration table then at nine? All right. You know, Laura, when we do get out there, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to finish before you, and I don't want you to feel bad. I won't. Because when I start to get going, I get heated up. My pace gets a little brisk. But I will probably leave the pack behind. Yeah, but it's not a race. It doesn't matter. I swear to God, I'm going to win this thing. Hello, Laura. Hello. John Stewart, here for my two o'clock Dr. Katz. Mm, could you have a seat, please? Uh, are you are you here first? Because I'm not. I oh, can, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not here to, for the doctor. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I mean, I look, I'm. No, no, know, no. You don't I have mean, to I'm, be shy about that. It's we all, I mean, people have problems. Sometimes no, no, I'm not, I'm not yeah. in therapy at all. Oh, oh no, yeah, me neither. No, no, I'm not here. Well, I am here to see, I'm not. I'm his son. I'm. I, You're Doctor Katz's son. You you don't look anything like him. I I know I don't, but I look more like my mom than I do him. You look like him. I I look a little like him. Sort of. Okay, then if you want, I'll go with you. I'm his son too. In interfaith marriages is a it's a leap of uh, interfaith. Typically. It's not an easy thing to do. An interfaith marriage is complicated, but I'm sure you've given it a lot of thought. It's confusing. Yeah. Guy comes down to earth and takes your sins and dies and comes back three days later. You believe in him. You get to go to heaven forever. Mm -hmm. So how do you go from that to hide the eggs? Did, did Jesus have a problem with eggs? Did he go, yeah, oh, by the way, when I come back, uh, you know, if I see any eggs, the whole salvation thing is off. I think that's just one interpretation. How many disciples did Jesus have? What do you have? Twelve? Yeah. Followed him wherever he went? How annoying was that? Do you ever think you ever turned to them and just went, what? Yeah, I, I don't really want to raise the questions. I'd, I'd, like, I'd like you to raise the questions. <clears throat> I'm just here to help you get to know you. Is there anything I can do at home for free that would help me? Well, I think we talked about this last week was this trying, trying to... Enjoy the day before the day takes over. You told me that, but I, I haven't had the time to embroider it on a pillow. I think you're making a mistake to think that you're going to walk out of here with a phrase that's going to magically cure all your problems. That's not how therapy works. Are you sure? I'm almost sure that when I first started here, you said, we're going to boil this all down to a phrase that's going to help you. Yeah, you hear what you want to hear. Hey, that's catchy. <laughs> Parents, I, they're so weird now. It's like I think they're so old where they just they know nobody else wants them, mm -hmm. so they're being nice to each other now. Right, it's sickening. Like they, they don't lovey dovey, kissy face. Well, that's sweet, Wanda. That's very sweet. Yeah, I like my father. Then he gives her flowers. He holds the car door open for her. I'm not used to this. I mean, I remember the good old days where my mother used to have to run and dive in the car before my father would take off. That's sweet. You know, I think marriage is an institution for raising kids. Mm -hmm. you know, the kids, that's the glue. That's what keeps you together. Right. I know that people who have kids, they always say the same thing. Hey, look, you got to have some kids. Got to have some kids. Let me tell you now, kids, they're a lot of work, but they're worth it. But I noticed something. They never look you in the eye when they say that. Right. And it's always, hey, kids, they're a lot of work, you know, but they're worth it. Well, I hang out all the time. I know it's my friends who have kids. They never want to go anywhere with us. We're like, hey, come on, guys. Let's go to the club or something. Nah, nah, nah. You know, we can't go. We're going to stay here with the kids. Maybe uh, next week we can go hang out or something. Well, oh, 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 you're going on vacation next week. Well, isn't that nice? That's sweet. That's nice. Where you going? Ooh, Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, uh, we started to go last year, but... uh. Bobby here needed braces. Uh, yeah, Bobby, smile and show them Jamaica, baby. Go ahead. Ben, where you been? I went to the uh, grocery store. 
Why did you drive to the grocery store? It's like a 10 minute walk. It would have been. Why a... would I walk for <clears throat> 10 minutes to the grocery store, Dad? Well, it, it seems like a good opportunity to get some exercise, tune up. Tune up for what? Oh, for the, oh, for the walk. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm trying to save myself, Dad. Got to rest the legs. I wish you would start doing some stretches, Ben. I'm, I'm worried about you. That's all. Dad, take a good look at me. What do you see? I see an enthusiastic, healthy 25 year old do gooder. Okay. Now squint. Oh my God. Exactly. What you need to do is you need to get pumped up. You need to get the no, blood no, 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 flowing. No, 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 no. You, quite need, dead. you need to do some very gentle stretching. You need to do some stretching not so gentle. This is how far I can bend over right now. Okay. That's, that's you're, it. You're actually standing up perfectly straight. Really? <laughs> yeah. I went the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> he sticks to you and you can't get him off. He He's just, you know, he just talks a lot. Laura! Oh, God. Excuse me. Excuse me, I gotta get to my friend. Hey! Ben! Hi, let me catch my breath for a sec. Hi. Hi. I, I thought we were meeting at the registration table at nine. I was looking for the registration table. I couldn't find it. I just kept asking people. Well, that's uh, that's odd because this is the um, probably the furthest point from it. Oh well. So I'm sorry I didn't get um, the yeah, proper introduction. This is Colleen and this is Joanne. Hi, Colleen, Joanne, Ben Katz, uh, uh, big big walker. Um, I'll be your walking companion. Ben, for the... can you you know what? If you Laura, um... I'm trying to get to know the ladies. Mm. You know what? Let's uh, do some warm ups, huh? <laughs> Actually, ladies, watch this. I was practicing this this morning. Just stick the butt out, and then back in. Then out. Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right, walkers, 30 seconds. Yeah. Hey, you know, Laura, my dad said he was going to meet us at the 15-mile uh, mark. Great. All right, so what do you say we get started? Listen, I'm going to uh, stop at that convenience store. Do you guys want anything? Ben, we just started walking. Yeah, I know, but I'm starving. So you want something or not? No. All right. Laura, do you have five bucks on you? I like coffee, I like tea. Laura, now you say I like coffee, I like tea. No. I like coffee, I like tea. Colleen? Joanne? I like walking for hungry. I don't know what I've been told. <sighs> Let's go walking for hungry. We got 19 and a half miles left. Let's sing a little. Guys, wait up. What's the rush? <laughs> you don't have to burn rubber. Let's take it down a notch, huh? Should have paced myself. You know, I made the mistake of going a little quick out of the gate. Are you guys um, cramping? Because I got a sharp abdominal pain. <clears throat> hey! Daddy! You can do it, Ben. Come on. Oh, man. Look at you. Yeah. This is this a 15 mile, right? Yes, 15 miles. 15 big ones. How long have you been waiting? Well... I was 49 when the race began. I'm sorry to make you wait, but I was um, pacing myself a lot. Well, that's that's a big part of it. You have to learn how to pace yourself. It was at like mile 10 when I started hallucinating. Well, that was pretty embarrassing, though, when that 68-year-old woman was helping me throw up and rubbing my back. And she took off, though. Oh, Ben, the elderly is so unpredictable. But at mile 13, there was a great Indian place that I stopped at. Yeah. So I'm pretty much running last, right? Well... Uh, yeah, but it's not its not a race, Ben. No. When the guy with one leg whizzed by me. Yeah. That's a bad sign. Hey, only five more miles to go. No, I'm going to uh, quit while I'm uh, ahead at 15. See, I think that, that would be a big mistake. Because you've come this far, you've given this much. Well, you know Why what? don't you just regroup? You're catch here, a, catch I'm here, there's the car. I mean, everything is so perfect to leave now. Yeah. And my legs are like egg noodles. And I, you know, to be quite honest with you, I don't have to finish. You don't have to finish. I, I, I'm, I would be just as proud of, of you if you quit. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, then, maybe not quite as proud. Yeah, this is, a, you know what, I think a bit off uh, more than I could chew on this one, you know? Yeah. That's typically my strong suit. I, I think you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your sponsors. There are people believing in you. But, you know, what you can do in this uh, scenario is um, lie. Just say you finished? Yeah. Because, I mean, who's going to know? Everybody probably left. Hey, there you are. Laura. Laura. 
I was wondering what happened to you. What are you doing? I just, I lost you at like mile six. Well, I came back to look for you. Laura, that's so nice of you to come back. Yeah, where, where, where are your friends? Well, you know, we finished and they, they went home. Really? So, Laura, you did, uh, you did well. You did, you finished. Well, yeah, I did. That's well, great. You know, come that's on, great. you only have five miles to go. No, so. you know what? I, I can't because I got to, um, I got to break off because I have another walkathon. Come on, Ben. I Come have. on, Ben. I'm starting to think this is a failed effort. I think you'll feel better about yourself if you finish this event. You know, I think I need something a little more inspiring. I don't even think if Martin Luther King was yelling next to me, I could make it for the next five miles. Come on, Ben. Let's go before it gets dark. <sighs> I gotta sit for a minute. Come no. on. If you sit down, Ben, it's all over. L Laura, you get mm. one arm. Ugh. You yeah. just put your other arm over my shoulder, Ben. I'm sorry about the stench. <laughs> yeah. You guys know the fireman's carry? Mm. Thank you.